Thank you for visiting us. Enjoy watching. Let's celebrate over dinner in Indonesia. Grammar. The focus of this lesson is using the superlative. Kamu yang berperan paling besar. You did the biggest part. The superlative form expresses the extreme or outstanding or the highest degree of a quality. We use the superlative when comparing three or more things. In Indonesian, the superlative form can be expressed in two ways. One, adding the prefix ter to the modifier. For example, tinggi, high, tertinggi, the highest, hebat, great, terhebat, the greatest, jauh, far, terjauh, the farthest. Two, using the word paling means the most with the modifier. For example, terkenal, famous, paling terkenal, the most famous, cerobo, careless, paling cerobo, the most careless. Please note that in Indonesian, modifiers use either the prefix ter or the word paling to express the superlative. For example, di kelas, dia adalah murid yang terpintar. Also can be stated as di kelas, dia adalah murid yang paling pintar. In his class, he is the brightest student. Usain Bolt adalah pelari tercepat di dunia saat ini. Also can be stated as Usain Bolt adalah pelari paling cepat di dunia saat ini. Usain Bolt is the fastest runner today. However, for modifiers that already have a prefix, suffix, or any particle on its root word, the only way to express the superlative is by adding word paling. For example, berkesan, impressive, paling berkesan, the most impressive, meyakinkan, convincing, paling meyakinkan, the most convincing. Perjalanan yang paling berkesan bagiku adalah ketika liburan ke Jepang. The most memorable journey for me was the trip to Japan. 2. Wawancaranya berhasil karena argumentasinya yang paling meyakinkan dibanding peserta yang lain. He succeeded in interviews because his argument was the most convincing compared with other participants' arguments. Besides comparing adjectives, the example of superlatives for comparing adverbs can be observed in the examples below. 1. Andi mendapatkan promosi karena dia bekerja paling keras untuk kesuksesan proyek itu. Andy got a promotion because he has worked the hardest to succeed on the project. Di Olimpiade, semua perenang berenang sangat cepat, tetapi Phelps berenang yang paling cepat. At the Olympics, all swimmers swim fast, but Phelps swims the fastest of all. Arts and Culture in Indonesia Taman Ismail Marzuki (TIM) is an art and cultural exhibition center located at Jalan Sakini Raya No. 73 Central Jakarta. It adjoins Basca Planetarium and Jakarta Institute of the Art. Founded in 1968 by Jakarta's past Governor Ali Sadikin, the place got its name after the famous composer in Indonesia, Ismail Marzuki. The building complex comprises of an art hall, galleries, a studio theater, open-air auditorium, and courtyard plaza for visitors to enjoy many arts and cultural performances, and also a cinema and several restaurants. Besides being the prime cultural center in Jakarta, the complex itself also become a well-known place for people wanting to learn about art and theater. Some notorious theater performers such as Butet Kurtaregisa, Sujawo Tejo and W.S. Rendrath succeeded in their performances in T.I.M. Besides traditional art, TIM also hosts contemporary art, either from Indonesia or a foreign country. Vocabulary Selamat Congratulation Tanpa Without Bantuan Help Rayakan To celebrate Sore Afternoon Nonton To watch Jemput To pick up Makasih Thanks Contoh kalimat Sample sentences Selamat atas kelahiran bayimu Congratulations on your newborn baby Wanita itu dapat menyelam tanpa masker oksigen That woman can dive without an oxygen mask 
Bantuan bagi rakyat miskin merupakan salah satu program pemerintah. Help for the poor is one of the government's programs. Gubernur yang baru terpilih merayakan kemenangannya di balai kota. The winner elected governor celebrate his winning in city hall. Ayah biasanya membaca koran di sore hari. Father usually reads newspaper in the afternoon. Saya mau nonton film. I want to watch a movie. Kemarin ayah menjemput adik di sekolah. Yesterday father picked my sister up at the school. Makasih. Thanks. Bantuan. Bantuan can be translated as help, as in, I need your help. Aku perlu bantuanmu. If the root word bantu is added with prefix mem as membantu, the noun turn as verb means to help. For example, one, adik membantu ibu di dapur. My sister is helping mother in the kitchen. Tampa. Tampa can be translated as without. The word usually functions as a conjunction to express the absence of the word that come after Tampa. The example is Keberhasilan ini tidak akan terjadi tanpa bimbinganmu. Meaning the success will not happen without your guidance. Makasi. Makasi is the short form of Tara Makasi meaning thank you. People usually use makasi between friends and in casual speech. In formal situations, however, people usually say Tara Makasi Banyak meaning thank you very much. For replying, both in casual and formal forms, we may say sama-sama, literally meaning the same, I also thank you, means you. Are welcome. Percakapan. Conversation. Andi, selamat atas promosimu. Andy, congratulations on your promotion. Makasih Lisa. Thanks Lisa. Promosi ini tidak akan ada tanpa bantuanmu. This promotion wouldn't have happened without your help. Kamu yang berperan paling besar. You did the biggest part. Ayo kita rayakan hal ini. Let's celebrate this. Kamu sudah punya acara hari Jumat sore ini? Do you have any plans this Friday afternoon? Kalau Jumat sore aku belum ada acara. Well, on that day I don't think I have any. Bagaimana kalau makan malam dan nonton pertunjukan tari di Taman Ismail Marzuki? How about we have dinner and watch a dance performance at Taman Ismail Marzuki? Aku jemput jam 6. I will pick you up at 6. Kedengarannya oke. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe to watch other videos. Thank you.